Very excited in the studio right now. Hey, how are you? Hello. Roll right on up here. How are Get you? Get yourself comfortable. Get in here. I'm so glad you're here. You look very pretty. Oh, my thank goodness. Thank you, baby. You're fresh. Oh, you. Well, thank you. I feel like she looks so too good you. for thank us. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing, sugar? Good. Oh, you look gorgeous. Are we up? It, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're up. We're, we're, we're going. We're rocking. You got a beautiful dress on. You are like all dressed up. Look at her. If I'd have known, I'd have fixed myself up today. <laughs> I would have shaved. Easily the hottest comedian that's ever come through. Yeah, looking Easily. good. You babies are absolutely sweet. <laughs> Do you hear me? You babies are the sweetest. Well, you're gorgeous. But I, I wake up like this, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's Just such a lie. Out of bed. <laughs> oh, that's such a lie. I've been up early. What time? Six o'clock? Five Ooh, o'clock? Wow. Five thirty? Oh, yeah. Man. Because I knew I was coming to see y'all, baby. Uh -huh, yeah. And when you come to Wild, uh -huh. you got to have it together. That's right. <laughs> okay? You can't half step at Wild. You got to have it all together yeah. and that's what this morning is this is a togetherness show I oh love yeah it. oh we yeah all together come on this oh. is why you out the group this is why <laughs> you don't come to no rehearsals you ain't going no practices you're supposed to come on in with the beat i feel like i'm not i was, there yet. I was yeah. ready to sing with you i was, I was trying to get the harmony let's, let's you were it. in rehearsal okay come let's on let's come see on. how you do okay bring we're gonna it. do a duo okay bring it. Yep. i'm gonna stay low okay you bring mm -hmm. it high okay. we're all, all together. together come on we're all together. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Team right there. Team Ooh. Wild 95.5. Come on. Uh -huh. I could do that all day. I, I could do that for three hours, honestly. Listen, we can ears. go on the road together, baby, okay? Because what they don't know, they don't know about this kind of... They, they don't know about that. Don't make mm -hmm. promises you can't keep because I will go with you. Tonight we will be at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> you got nothing going on. You will Two be performances, you 6 won't. and 6.15. 7-Eleven is my game. <laughs> you won't get rid of him. Uh. He will stay and try to go to the next city with you i love it babies i love it <laughs> We got uh, Monique here in the uh, studio. I, I got to break down. I got to tell you about uh, something here. We kind of got in this uh, conversation uh, yesterday. Uh, they were talking about guys and their uh, preference for uh, women and uh, grooming. Uh huh. Yeah, and uh, what uh, guys prefer. And they're saying that um, women have been taking it back and taking it back and taking it back. And the guys actually want the women to trim, but leave something there. They don't like. They want grass on the playing field, if I had to put it one way to you. Really? That's what they want. A little bit. Well, how many guys said they wanted that? It's just it kind was, of a majority poll. It was 63% of guys now say they want a little bit there. Now we have to, because it gets deeper, what kind of guy said they want a little bit there? So you got to find out. We, That's we got true. got to go deep. That's true. Okay, because Specifics. You mm -hmm. got to go deep with it because I don't, okay. I don't know of any guys you think, you that think, want grass on the field. You think all guys want it wiped clean? Well, you know... To say, do I think all guys want it wiped clean? Some guys don't know any better. Okay. See, some guys have never been on a clean field. They've been on a field with grass, a couple of debris, you know, little debris. empty bottles, debris. some cut glass. You got to be careful. They don't know that they can go down clean highway. They've never been there. So those are the 63 percenters saying we want a little grass on the field. They've never been to a clean field before. I get you. Okay. Come on now. I get you. Okay. Come on. So you you think that these are guys who just they've they've never tried it out. They don't even know what they're talking about. So you can't you can't take that. With I won't any. say all of them. Okay. But all what right. I will say from the brothers that I've spoken with when they. They found mm -hmm. out that they could go on a clean field. They couldn't believe They it. don't want to go back to the good grassy really? field. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it is different. Yeah, I guess it depends on but who you're pulling here. I don't, I don't well, have a breakdown. Well, let's ask Alice. Tone, yeah. come here, yeah. my love. Uh -huh. This is Tone X. He's performing with me you oh, know, yeah. on the tour. Let me ask you something. Wanna, yeah. mm -hmm. Grass on the field mm -hmm. or clean? You know, I'm I'm grown, Miss Monique. I play on artificial turf. Well, come on then. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you know a man mess with older, older women. <laughs> artificial turf. What is when she say, baby, listen, got to get it how you can get it. Sometimes it's clean. Sometimes I got grass on it. Sometimes it's a little dirt. But however you want it. However do you want it. However oh, yeah. you want it. I was there. How do you want That's why I pointed right to you, baby. Come on. I'm living the time of the world. Oh, look out. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. I ain't going nowhere. Let the day be your last day here. Do you hear me? Because the talent you just showed me, you can't do it right here. You're going to fire me. You need a bigger stage. You're going Monique. Kevin. Uh huh. Virginia, yeah, and Jason. That's yeah. Right. yeah, I absolutely adore you, baby. Uh, we, we love you. We love you. We adore you, baby. All right. Well, what he said, I got to tell you. Here's here's the problem that some people are seeing. Come Our girl on. right over there. She's got a husband. He now he wants a little bit of grass on he his playing field. Dirt. Is that right? Okay. He wants more grass. But before I met him, 
I kind of had the grass removed. Baldy right. Rinaldi. So now what do I do? Well, are you are you are you able to get grassy again? No. No. Then let him go enjoy grass somewhere else. <laughs> that because fun. he is going Whatever to do that. that. Was the advice. I'm telling you right now, baby, if you cannot give him what he's looking for, he's going to go get that grass. So what you may want to do is call that hair club for men, ask them, is there any way that you can take my hair from here and put it there? Because right my here. husband needs some grass. We talked about that. Yeah. A transplant? Yes. Yeah. Or a wig. It's going to go Let me ask though. you this. Mm-hmm. What would you do to keep mm-hmm. your man happy? Mm. Anything. Anything. So hair club for men. Virginia mm-hmm. needs you guys to call her up. Now listen to this. She's not going to pay for it because she's going to tell all the other women how it can happen. So like hair that. club mm-hmm. for men, please give Virginia a call at 95.5 Wild. She needs grass on her uh, section. <laughs> you almost said something Grass different. on her section. Baby, I thought I was at the comedy club right now. She needs grass on her section. I know you did. <laughs> on her section. Yes. I got to tell you, there's almost a solution here, though. Come on. This is the good news. Have you ever heard of something called a Merkin? I'm going to educate you. A Merkin? A Merkin. It is a toupee for the down there hair. It is a toupee. <laughs> Are you serious? David? I am not messing with you. They, it, it, I, I didn't believe it, and somebody sent me. They got websites on this stuff, and you can get it different shades, different colors, everything. Now, is it different a Merkin styles. for men, or is it Merkin for women? Women. A Merkin. Now, Virginia, have you thought of the Merkin? I haven't. It sounds like a vaginal toupee. I'm into it. It's but exactly see, the only thing that scared me about that Merkin, mm-hmm. that Merkin got to get the mixing up with your gherkin. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to go to the emergency room. Baby. How do you explain to somebody in the emergency room what's going on with the Merkin? How do you lay up there and they say, well, what is wrong, Virginia? Okay, well, let me just try to, t- well, listen, my husband likes a little grass on the field. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> I got some Merkin. Check my section out. Tech, they're going to think you ate something. No, I did not. He tried to, and that's why he's laying next to me. The Merkin. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's for real. No, it happens. It happens. It happens. I'm telling you, it is legit. Yes. In fact, uh, we had somebody that was uh, checking it out. They sent us an email. It was Kelly. And uh, she was on her phone yesterday, and uh, she was checking this out. She downloaded the whole information, and a Merkin pops up, a pink one. Pink Merkin, yes. Merkin.com. A, a, a toupee, yes, for your down there hair. And she's also got this app on her phone. You ever gone to Starbucks where you can uh, put money into the thing and you hand them the phone and you just pay for your phone. You don't ever need money again. You ever seen this thing that they got? No. So she's got this on her phone where she can pay for her Starbucks with her phone, but she's all caught up in the Merkin, not thinking about it. And they're like, yes, ma'am, that's going to be $15. She hands the phone right over and they're like, is there any reason why you're showing me this? And she's like, what? <laughs> she's like, is this what I think it is? And she shows them the thing, and she is horrified. She's showing them down their hair to pays, oh. and they immediately got to think, what is this woman doing? Does the Merkin come in all different colors? Blonde, yes. yeah. red, silver? Yeah. What she Styles. was doing was getting free coffee. See, ladies, you have to know strategy. <laughs> I'm going to show you my Merkin. It's going to shock you, and you're going to say, ma'am, here you go, because I don't even know how to do de- I don't know what to say to that. I'd give you a whole pot of coffee. I, that. Right. Yeah. So that $15 cup of coffee she got it's for free. free. Ladies, if you want some free coffee at your local coffee store, show them your Merkin. <laughs> but not the jerk. Uh. Show them your Merkin. Yeah. That's genius. That's genius. Yeah. Yes. Brilliant. Yes. You're just brilliant. Oh man. <laughs> Beautiful and brilliant. So I'm assuming just from the way that you're talking is is you well, you know, we, we I, I all good. Tough, it's clean. It's yeah. a tough question, Kev. Yeah, I am. I'm a hard hitting interviewer. I don't mind Kev asking the tough questions, but I don't have the tough answers. Okay. okay. Some things I think you keep to yourself. You do. And I'll let you, you, you have to let your imagination be what it I, is. And we just met. So you'd be thinking, I know. does she have <laughs> Merkin or not? I, I, yeah. <laughs> I apologize <laughs> for my partner over here. He's, don't do you know it. You, don't, don't don't here's the, the way, here's what I look at. You ask the questions, they don't have to answer. But see, you always say, I asked the question. Right, Kevin. See, they yeah. would never say to Kevin, you mm-hmm. didn't ask. You're right. Yeah. Kevin did ask. Yeah. I simply didn't ask. <laughs> ah, yes. Man, Merkin. That's... No Merkin. <laughs> She's a lady. <laughs> She's a lady. <laughs> she looks yes. amazing. Do you, do you dress like this when you go on stage? Yeah. Because you're, oh my goodness. Yes. How about, because I've gone, I've seen some comedians and they, you don't know if they got them from underneath the bridge because they, some of those guys, they go up there and they just do not have it together. Well, see, I, I, I the way I look at it is, and I've been doing it now over 20 years mm-hmm. yeah. and the people in the audience, they're my bosses. Mm-hmm. Like they're not fans. I work for those people. Yeah. So you have to ask yourself, how do I want to present myself to my bosses? And I feel like if you buy a ticket. Yeah. You didn't pay for a babysitter. Of yeah. course, you got your hair done. Mm-hmm. You want to have a couple drinks. You're spending all you put this on your money. To, okay, you put your Merkin on. Yeah, uh-huh. So you just spent all this money, and then you want to come look at somebody who 
didn't take the time out. Sure. Yeah. Get it together. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate my bosses. And I want to let them know I, I appreciate you, babies. Oh, my God. I like the dress y'all let me get. I, like, oh. I just want to sing with you again. I <laughs> to tone, tone, Can tone. we get, get some harmonies going? Yeah. Come, come on, come on, bring it in. I don't honey. know. Okay. Come on, what, Barry what, what White, get, get, get a D. Barry, yep. Barry White. Okay. Oh yeah. Am I, no, somebody's we, pregnant right now. Now we will show <laughs> you right. Give it to him. Show you right. Come on. You'll never find. You didn't mix Lou Ross with my Yeah, I don't. I don't went. <laughs> down, 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 down. A radio show like this. Doom, doom, doom. Someone who makes you laugh. I doom. Okay. Like these folk do. Oh, oh doom, doom, doom. Oh, yes. you need to show them what you're murking with, baby. <laughs> There's no if and buts <laughs> or maybe. We got to put it together tonight. We got to put it together tonight. And I'm saying it all over the world because, Mm -hmm. see, we have a singing group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, People don't respect it. it. They Mm -hmm. don't respect it. But (laughs) what happens is because we're doing this right now, Mm -hmm. and I know Puffy's somewhere listening. (laughs) And I'm putting it all out in Florida. If you see Puffy, tell him, do not steal or take our rap. Take that. that, (laughs) Give it back. Give it back. Because he takes them. Okay? That was nice. nice. Man, that was beautiful. (laughs) It got me in the mood. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, man. That's what we do. We the karaoke king and queen. Sir. Barry White and Lou Ross is in heaven right now saying we ain't never heard it done like that. What the hell were they doing? When they get here, but no time soon. Right. Barry, don't touch God and ask him about nothing about me. And please don't ask God what Merkin is. <laughs> no. I promise you he already knows. I think he does. I think he does. You got to snap up those tickets. Go see uh, Monique. Going to be out at the uh, improv in uh, West Palm Beach at City Place. It's a 561 number, 833-1812. She's gorgeous. And fun. And fun. And you funny, are going to have a good beautiful. time. You're going to be singing. You're going to be laughing. You got everything going on. <laughs> the best money you can spend this weekend. Thank you, Shook. Well, wait a yeah. minute. Look at that. Look at that, Virginia. Ooh. Talk about it. You Virginia. love a man with a creative sock. Tell him, Virginia. <laughs> what a sexy dress <laughs> sock now, this man is wearing. Y'all don't even realize it's right now, Virginia sock. got what's oh, called a slide feel. I am. She's I'm touching the man. sock. Touch him, I'm man. touching it. He has a great sock. I need this. But then you got to grip it. That is nice. How how do you actually work with him on stage and not molest him? (laughs) No, I know. Leave it to her. Virginia, baby, Virginia, go right to it. That is a sex sign. Virginia, what you will not do is let my brother see your murk and know about your murk because Virginia's throwing in little subliminal messages. Oh yeah, dude. This is actually. I, I'll say he's my brother in spirit. Okay. We've been knowing each other yeah. for over 20 years. We started doing comedy together when we were teenagers. We're oh, 19, wow. 20 years old. Mm-hmm. So what an honor it is yeah. that I can look over and see my brother standing How cool right there and say, awesome. let's go play together. That is cool. The real honor is for me mm-hmm. to be a part of all this love, all this laughter, and we just trying to live. So yeah. this right here, as Miss Monique says, mm-hmm. uh, I get a chance to share the stage with her. And I get excited just about the chance to go out and meet her beautiful audience. I get a chance to travel with her. I get a chance to talk with her. And I learn mm-hmm. so much. Yeah. That this right here Brilliant. Is, is a beautiful I love that. I, I got to tell you, your voice mm-hmm. is going to make me drop my panties. I tell you what. <laughs> that is, you got it some It is nice amazing, isn't it? In your voice, oh, my man. man. <laughs> that is some good stuff. I guess I'll just say thank you. I knew I, knew I was going to love this. It was better than I thought it was ever going to be. It's such an honor to have you on, Monique. Thanks, and thank you. Thank you so much. And go check her out at the Improv this weekend, y'all.